All right, all right, now in spiral. Say now, fair use YouTube. This is allowed for purpose of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody. Parody, shalaki, which doesn't infringe upon my copyright. Okay, truly, this is a content notice. You can please contact these folks at the bottom. Uh, this is a warning sign. We about to cook. We about to cook. Uh-huh. And the plot thickens. Let's go. All right, all right, nice spiral. Let's get into it. Let's cook. Let's cook. What we cooking up, y'all? All right. Been a long time coming. Long time coming to get here. And we're cooking up B, her myth, and Levi, Leviathan. Behemoth and Leviathan. All right, bear with me. I'm jotting some things down. All right. Okay, so um, what's happening, man? <laughs> what's happening? Hey, look here, man. What a time to be alive. And uh, all we trying to do here at Drop Nation, again, Nine Spiral, I specialize in breaking down the profits, right? Uh, what's to come uh, the things that are here to come the hereafter right again we don't supposed to know everything uh, the most high said when I bring you out from the peoples into the wilderness and I plead my case with you face to face just as I pleaded my case with your fathers right in the wilderness, wilderness of Mizraim so will I plead my case with you. And he said he's going to set up shepherds, right? <laughs> shepherds that'll feed you with knowledge and understanding. So those things we do not know, right? Because the secret things belong to the Most High Hawaii, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, right? So that we may do all the words of our law. Deuteronomy 29, 29. All right, so this is a latter day event, um, apocalyptic event, uh, rarely talked about. And so I'm going to lean on my Tawab Akon drop for this one. We're going to visit Con Drop. He's right down the street. I already put in a phone call. We're just going to stop by, knock on the door, and get the drop. Because that's what we do. We all on the same street, man. And shout out to Copper Color Creations, man. I see you doing your thing. Let's go. It don't stop, man. Drop Nation, we keep our feet on the hijack's neck, right? They don't like us. They don't like us. But first, before we do that, of course, we're going to get it from the hijack, right? Because we got to get it from the hijack. And then we get it and break it down, right? With a dragon's eye view. Because this event is going to take place. Whether you believe it or not, you cannot stop prophecy. I and mean, at this point, it don't matter what. It, uh, it really don't matter what you believe in, right? Because it's fourth quarter. Nigga, it's either or. Ain't no gray areas. It's either 
Oh, ain't no straddling in the fence. You gonna get your ass taken, snatched up out of here. You gonna get wrapped stood up out of here, straight to death. We're talking mass murder. Y'all screaming peace. Most I said no peace. They have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people, saying peace, peace, shallow on when there is no peace. Huh? Come on, y'all, fourth quarter. I'm here to proclaim the most high's mercy. All right. I was riding high, I was good, I had one foot in the streets and one foot in the truth. He said, no, nah, man, I need you. I need you on my team. I said, no, nah, Pop. I'm still trying to figure shit out, man. I don't know what's going on. He said, boy, I need... Can he... he said, look at me, boy. I said, no, nah, Pop. I got this, man. I'm a man. And God damn it, he spanked me on my bottom, my hit rock bottom. I said, all right, Daddy. <laughs> Let's pop on with the hijack, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Smooth jazz in the morning. Coffee and kush. Coffee with a little boron and iodine in it, right? For the thyroid support. And kush for the adrenal gland. But you got the cough. You got the... <coughs> that opens up your adrenal gland. You get good uh, adrenal gland support. Let's go. Now Spyro know what's going on. That's why they hate me. Pop off. In the depths of the sea, uh -huh. hidden in the abyss, where even the sun cannot reach, dwells a mighty leviathan. Or at least, that's what the legend says about this mythical monster. The Leviathan is a primordial creature found originally in the mythology and traditions of the Hebrew and Christians. It was first... Okay, minus the Christians. Hebrew. Right? Primordial. I'm just jotting some things down. And Hebrew. Mentioned in the book of Job in the Old Testament of the Bible. The creature was said to be the female counterpart of the male behemoth, uh -huh. which we already discussed in the previous video. Okay. It was a personification of chaos and was said to be so huge that it was impossible to see in its entirety. It was simply too vast. The descriptions of the beast are varied. Some say that the Leviathan was about 300 miles long, and others say that it might have been up to 900 miles long. Uh -huh. Usually, it's described as a long snake-like creature with a dragon head, razor-sharp teeth, and glowing eyes. There's a dragon. It's also been described with seven heads, 300 eyes, and was so vast that he encircled the world in the great abyss, the cosmic ocean that encircled the world. This is very reminiscent of the Norse myth about Jormunganda, the Midgard serpent that also encircled the world. Not only was it massive and powerful, it was also practically indestructible. It was said that the Leviathan's body... All right, let's get there right quick. Pay me no attention. Indestructible. All right. Let's get it. <clears throat> We're cooking. Was covered in a double layer of armored scales, uh -huh. just like a coat of mail. And whenever it swam close to the surface. Okay, now that double layer, right? We want to keep that in mind. We want to keep in mind, right? I'm just jotting down some notes. Keep in mind how strong, right? The scales are, right? Just keep that in mind. We just want to point that out. We're cooking. We're cooking. Let's go. This the sea would boil all around it. Mm. That formed a sort of fog where it was possible to see glimpses of the shadow of the beast moving in it. God. In one version of the Jewish myth, it was said that God created two leviathans, a male and a female. But when he realized that if the creatures would ever procreate and multiply, then they would devour the world in its entirety and everything that lives on it. Therefore, he decided to kill the female leviathan and leave only the male to roam in the cosmic ocean. According to the different versions of the myth, the leviathan is supposed to be slayed by either the behemoth in a battle to the death, by Yahweh, or by the archangel Gabriel. Alright, so you see, 
they give us the watered down version in scripture. I don't even think we're getting anything close to that. They want to might throw that in revelation with this great dragon and all this, uh, 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 you know, uh, that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, man, uh, the Most High said he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. A lion has roared. Who will not fear? Um, the Most High has spoken. Who can but prophesy? You can get that in Amos. Uh, if you need that, uh, get at me. But that's very important that we understand that. Okay, because they're saying that they're getting these things out of Jewish writings, right? Meaning these were things that were taken out and just completely erased and thrown into some old Jewish writing, right? It's the only way you find it, right? We're going to get it from drop. We're going to get it from drop. Let's go. The legend says that the body of the defeated sea serpent will be used to provide food for the people that live their lives in righteousness after uh -huh. the... Ah, food for the righteous. Let me write that down. I hope y'all write uh, some things down, man. This is what we do. We surf the wave. Food for the righteous. All right day of judgment. Oh. A skin will be used to cover their roofs and the walls of Jerusalem for everyone to see. Bam! Skin will be used for roof or canopy for everyone to see, meaning it will radiate brilliant light. All right, appreciate it, Leviathan. It's cool. <laughs> All right, appreciate you for rocking with Nine Spiral. We're cooking, right? Let's cook. And before we get to Behemoth, right? Uh, we're gonna get some scriptures, man. We're gonna search through um. Uh, King James and see if we can uh, what we can correlate you know what I'm saying what we can precept all right five four three two one pop off the behemoth is a massive monster found in the religious beliefs and traditions of the Hebrew Christian and Muslim faiths okay minus the damn Christian write that down again Hebrew Hebrew all right pop off the mythical creature is described both in the Hebraic books of Enoch and Job. He was presented as a male counterpart of the female Leviathan, a massive sea creature. All right. Uh, just quick translation. That is Job. Right. He said Job. It is Job. All right, let's go. That we will explore eventually as well. In the book of Job, the behemoth was brought forth to demonstrate the futility of questioning God's power and decisions. After all, he created this apocalypse. Questioning the most high's power and decisions. Okay, that's new. <laughs> Let's cook. Let's cook. Elliptic beings himself. It is said that the behemoth dwells in a desert east of the Garden of Eden. And as a creature as old as time itself, its proportion and strength were something out of this world, something unthinkable to the human mind. All right. It is said that the beast is so enormous that a vast desert extended on its upper body. Mm. Its bones were made out of brass, and according to the myth, it could consume thousands of acres of vegetation through its massive mouth and swallow the River Jordan in one single gulp. His physical... No. That you fucking up the yard and... A uh, 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 behemoth that you be fucking up the yard and <laughs> let go. Oh, goddamn behemoth. Let, let go. Well, description varies a lot. Some say that he looked like an elephant, others describe him as a hippo, a rhinoceros, or a bull, and sometimes as a mix of all these animals. In Jewish tradition, there's a prophecy describing the coming of the Judgment Day and the Messiah. In that moment, the behemoth and the Leviathan will be locked. Or King David, let go. Locked in a battle to the death. 
The bodies of the fallen beasts will be served as a food for the chosen ones who live their lives in righteousness. All right, we're just going to focus on this picture right quick. All right. Now, now we're going to get into this battle, right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to stop by Drop's house, man. He's expecting me. He said he done uh, threw some, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, something in the uh, kitchen, man. We're going to sit down. We're going to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? This is Behemoth. And this is Leviathan, right? Now, he just said that they're going to be food uh, for the righteous. Or not this motherfucker right here, not Behemoth, right? So I'm not going to let him tell that lie. Uh, we get that Leviathan will, uh, but not this motherfucker beast right here, right? We can't eat him according to Levitical law. <laughs> get your hands out of here. All right. Papa. In European medieval Christian traditions, the behemoth was vastly portrayed as an incredibly powerful natural force in the mm. form of an elephant with an expanded belly. Mm. That imagery was used to describe the delights of the belly and the devil's temptation on humans trying to force them onto the vice of overindulgence. Whoa. In Muslim traditions, the behemoth is a counterpart of the Bahamut, okay. the vast muster that supports the earth on a cosmic level. All right. In the mythology associated with Islam, uh -huh. the Bahamut was created to support a gigantic bull, wow. which in turn supported a giant ruby on which stood an angel holding six hells, above oh, which was the earth shit. and its seven heavens. Oh, shit. In the tales of the Thousand and One Nights, we're told that Isa, or Jesus, was the only one that was ever granted the privilege of admiring Bahamut in all its magnitude and presence. Whoa, okay. Woo! All right, I gotta drop my pencil on that one. Wow. Okay, well, that was a lot. Okay, so well, I think that it's safe to say that Behemoth is a, a, a hijacker, right? Uh, um, you know, I guess the counterpart, you know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be the bad guy. You know, he's got dealing with Isus and what's, what's all these dealing with these different religions and, you know, the Hindu elephant and all this shit. And what's going on here? I didn't know that Behemoth had that, uh, uh, that uh, negative connotation, right? Uh, uh, associated with him. Uh, but now we know. All right, let go. All right, we're in Psalm 74. We're going to get it verse 12 and 14. 12 and 14. All right. For Hawaii is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength. Thou breaketh the heads of the dragons huh, in the waters. Thou breakest the head of Leviathan in pieces and giveth him to be meat, meat, meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. We got to eat in the wilderness, huh? I'm telling you, man, this thing ain't going to play out like Revelation say. Let's go. I appreciate you for rocking with Nine Spiral. Coffee and Kush in the morning. Press nine. All right, second answer six. We're going to get it. Verse 47. 47, 52. Let's get it. All right. On the fifth day, thou didst command the seventh part where the water, the mem, had been gathered together to bring forth living creatures, birds, and fishes, and so it was done. The dumb or the steel, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta you gotta learn how to, you know what I'm saying, do inserts, man. The steel and lifeless water produced living creatures as it was commanded. That therefore the nations might declare thy wondrous works. Uh-huh. 
Then thou didst keep in existence two living creatures, the name of one thou didst call Behemoth, and the name of the other Leviathan, and thou didst separate one from the other. For the seventh part, where the water, the mem, had been gathered together, could not hold them both. This is correlation. And thou didst give Behemoth one of the parts which had been dried up on the third day to live in it where there are a thousand mountains so you want to find behemoth look for a thousand mountains <laughs> come but to leviathan thou didst give the seventh part the water report and thou hast kept them to be eaten by whom thou wilt and when thou wilt. There you go. All right, appreciate you for rocking with Nine Spiral. Look here, man, we're gonna head on down to Con Drop Spot. He's just right down the street. And we're gonna give him a holler, you feel me? We're gonna holler at the Tawab out. Uh huh, uh huh. All right. Yo, yo, drop. <clears throat> you said you got that drop on Leviathan? Well, let's just get it right here, right quick. All right, all right. On the fifth day Come on. of creation. Come on with it. Hawa wow. took fire and water. Uh-huh. And out of these two elements, he Let's made see. the fish of the sea. He made the fish of the sea. The animals in the water are much more numerous than those on land. Come on, come on. So out of fire and water, he made the fish. Now, this is what I'm saying. The dragon is everything. The dragon is everything. Now, the fish is made out of fire and water. All right, let's get deep. Let's go. And out of these two elements... He made the fish of the sea. The animals in the water are much more numerous than those on land. For every species on land, except only the weasel, there is a corresponding species in the water. Wow. So for every species on land, there's a corresponding species in the water. The, the counterpart is in the water. That's your above, below thing, right? Come on, come on. Let's go. Above and below. Except the weasel. Except the and weasel. besides, there are many found only in the water. So everything on land has a counterpart in the water except the weasel. Or, or the jackal, right? Or the fox, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> in which, in ancient Hebrew culture, right? The fox... Jackal, weasel, all the same plays the role as the serpent. Huh? Let's go. But in the water, there's species that don't have any counterpart on land. The ruler over the sea animal is Leviathan. Leviathan. So you heard this before in the, in the script, Levi right? The Leviathan. Leviathan. Now, this is the fifth day. So this is the order of creation. This this text right here is called the creation of the world, the first things created. All right. So, you know what I mean? It's going to give you some behind the scenes drop. First day, second day, third day in a way that you never got it before. Let's I'm going to get back to that first day. Let's go. Well, let me finish this right quick, though, on the fifth day. All right, so it's the fifth day. So the ruler over the sea animals is Leviathan. With all the other fish, he was made on the fifth day. Originally, he was created male and female like all other animals. Mm. But when it appeared that a pair of these monsters might annihilate the whole earth with their united strength, Hawa killed the female. All right. So enormous is Leviathan that to quench his thirst he needs all the water that flows from the Jordan into the sea. Go. So now you see if there was a pair of them 
<laughs> That's just to quench his thirst One time he needs all the water That flows from the Jordan Into the sea Just to quench his thirst I mean just go there right quick Surf the wave Let's go. Let's His go. food consists of the fish Which go between his jaws on their own accord When he is hungry A hot breath blows from his nostrils mm. And it makes the waters Of the great sea seething hot Boy. Formidable though Behomat, 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 Behemat. Um, the other monster is he feels insecure until he is certain that Leviathan has satisfied his thirst. The only thing that can keep him in check is the stickleback, a little fish which was created for the for the purpose and of which he stands in great awe, but Leviathan is more than merely large and strong. He is wonderfully made. Besides, his fins radiate brilliant light. Uh, so you're going to get... Radiate brilliant light. This is very important. Let me jot that down right quick. Radiate brilliant light. Okay. Huh. That these dragons radiate light, you know what I'm saying? They can, you know, glow in different colors and do strobe lights and all kinds of stuff, like candles, you know. Um, the very sun is obscured by by cool. his light. So, you know, this this Leviathan has a light within him so much that it obscures the sun's light. Whoa. And also his eyes shed such splendor that frequently the sea is illuminated suddenly by it. Huh. No wonder that this marvelous beast is the plaything of Hawa ah. in whom he takes his pastime. There is but one thing that makes Leviathan repulsive, his foul smell, which is so strong that if it penetrates thither, it would render paradise itself an impossible abode. Mm. Now listen up. This is, you know, I'm going to get this paragraph and... That's how you know we're going to go to a whole nother level on this wave right quick. Let's go. Drop the real this. purpose of this giant fish, Leviathan, uh -huh. is to be served up as a dainty, dainty. to the to the pious, the pious or the righteous or the saints in the world to come. So his real purpose is uh -huh. as food for the righteous during the transition into the world to come. Huh? Ain't that some shit? I mean, you ain't gonna get that from the King James Version. Come on now. Talk to him, drop. They make some shit like that up. <laughs> they weren't gonna give us the that. Real purpose oh, of these. Let me talk to him for a minute. Look here, man. They weren't gonna give us that, right? <laughs> like I said, man, look here. It's levels to this thing, man. It's not just gonna happen like a wham bam, thank you, man, right? Your salvation is gonna be a process, right? There's some things got to happen, right? In the meantime, it's going to be utter destruction, right? <clears throat> the destruction decree shall overflow with righteousness. Your salvation comes out of their destruction. Same time. You see what's going on here? He said he's going to boast, brag, and magnify himself. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Giant situations is to be served up as dainties, you know, you know, or delicacies to the righteous or pious in the world to come. The female was put into brine as soon as she was killed. So when the female counterpart was killed, it wasn't just for no reason. She was already put into brine. My naga, you got food already waiting on you, my naga. You got food already waiting on you. The kingdom is already prepared, the Most High said. He told Ezra, right? Ezra said, I see a lot of people ain't going to make it, Most High. He said, yeah. He said, for this reason, Ezra, I have made not one world, but two. Yes. Getting prepared for what, what's coming up. Wow. Let's go. So they're just food. Like, you know, the food. Everything is created for you, Negro. Everything's created for you, Copper Color Race. Primarily. 
Facts. Facts. Hashtag. Facts. And if you ain't, you know, getting down, man, I'm gonna tell you. KTC. This ain't no, uh, this ain't no debate. We're talking about original. And the return of the original. Vibration, huh? The female was put into brine as soon as she was killed Already. to be preserved against the time when her flesh will be needed. The male is destined to offer a delectable sight to all beholders before he is consumed. Huh. When his last hour arrives, Hawa will summon the angels to enter into combat with combat with the monsters so Hawaii's going to send his angels to take him out mm-hmm. <laughs> you know to get him ready mm-hmm. you know what I mean to be eaten but no sooner will Leviathan cast his glance at them than they will flee in fear and dismay from the field of battle Come on. so this beast is so heavy so big and terrifying <laughs> That it scares the angels to death and they run away in fear. They will return to the, they will return to charge with swords. So the angels come back with swords, but in vain for his scales can turn back still like straw. They will be equally unsuccessful when they attempt to kill him by throwing darts and slinging stones. Such missiles will rebound without leaving the least impression on his body. Disheartened, the angels will give up the combat, and Hawa will command Leviathan and Behemoth to enter into a duel with there each other. There you go. So the angels will not be successful at taking out Leviathan. Not at all. <laughs> According to this joint, you know what I mean. So then he's gonna have to go into a duel with his, you know, his his match. All right. The issue will be that both will drop dead, be a mock slaughtered by a blow of Leviathan's fins, and Leviathan killed by a lash of Behemoth's tail. Mm-hmm. From the skin of Leviathan, Hawa will construct tents. Listen, man, this is this is real handy and crafty stuff, so Leviathan's Alright, let's get there right quick. Skin will be made to construct tents all right let's get it let's get it we popping off man gonna be a lot of things for you you think he's some beast because they taught you it's just a beast this is your food and this is your shelter and it's waiting for you Come. and the females already being prepared already for the righteous the righteous as the a saint. feast israel <laughs> let's go stand up From the skin of Leviathan, Hawa will construct tents to shelter companies of the pious or righteous. The saints. So he's going to make tents out of the skin while they enjoy the dishes made of his flesh. Come on now. The amount assigned to each of the pious right. or righteous will be in proportion to his desserts. And none will be in proportion to his deserts. And none will envy or begrudge the other his better share. Mm. So you're going to get it in proportion, I guess, to your land. What is left of Leviathan's skin will be stretched out over Jerusalem as a tent. Over Jerusalem as a tent. I can't confirm or deny. I'm no play, play. We're going to confirm. Sister drop. Larissa dropped on us. Drop. I got you. I got you. So what is left of Leviathan skin will be stretched over Jerusalem as a canopy and the light streaming from it will illuminate the whole world. Ooh, shit. And what is left of his flesh after the righteous have appeased their appetite after you finish eating. After Negro, you finish eating, Israel. Will be distributed among the rest of men to carry on after you eat can everybody else eat you see how that work <laughs> ain't that better traffic there with so they can distribute it after the most size children eat everyone can eat on the same day with the other fishes, the birds were created for these two kinds of animals are closely related to each other. Fish are fashioned out of water 
and birds out of marshy ground saturated with water. Wow. Fish are fashioned out of water and birds out of the marshy ground saturated with water. So then they get into this bird called the Aziz or Z's. So the sister dropped the Leviathan etymology. We looked at the dragon or dragon. Huh. Now this is the Leviathan drop. Now what does it say? Sea monster or sea serpent. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You getting it already? Got it. Sometimes regarded as a form of Satan. Oh, mm -hmm. here we go. Yeah, they do. Sometimes, right? So the twist that they put on it is that these things, because they were eating them, because this stuff was protecting you, it became devils to them. Do so twist. when they saw dragons, they say devils. When they see anything that they can't control or that's above them or that has a divine, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. a true divinity, they call it devil. Because it's not in line with their Zeus, with their celestial. It's above their celestial. They don't, they can't create nothing like this. No. So it's a devil to them. Sea monster, sea serpent. Hebrew, Levi, Lev, Leviathan, Leviathan. Hmm. And then you see what? Dragon. All right. Let's go. <coughs> okay. Jedi is me, man. Jedi Dragon, is me, man. serpent, huge sea animal. Uh -huh. Again, you went to dragon and you got what? Dragon, huge serpent, giant sea fish. When you get the dragon, they, they, they give you giant sea fish. But the true drop of it all is that the true etymology of the breakdown of what we're talking about is right here. Uh huh. Strong or its stem of dirt gets to, to see clearly. clearly. To see clearly. To see. I, I see. see. Can you see? I see. I, I exist. See. I see clearly. Let's go. When you see clearly, you exist because now you're present and you have perspective. Now you exist. Now you got the drop. Got the drop. All right. All right. So we're going to get it. And we're going to see if we can correlate this canopy. Leviathan skin. Jedi is Levi. Right. That's going to be stretched out over Herushalayim. We're going to see if we can correlate that through scripture. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. Forbidden scripture. Welcome. I see some amazing, amazing things going on. In Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1 through 6. Verse 1 through 6. <gasps> In that day, the branch of the Most High shall be beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and appealing for those of Israel who have escaped. Huh? And it shall come to pass that he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called 
holy. Huh? Everyone who is recorded among the living in Jerusalem, when the Most High has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and purged the blood of Jerusalem from her midst, huh? By the spirit, the Ruach of judgment, and by the spirit of burning. Huh? Then the Most High will create above every dwelling place of Mount Zion and above her assemblies a cloud of smoke. by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night, huh? For over all the glory there will be a covering. The Viathan skin, huh? And there will be a tabernacle for shade in the daytime from the heat for a place of refuge and for a shelter from the storm and rain. Arms up. Breathe in. Breathe out. 